U.S. President Joe Biden has invited the former U.S. President and his election opponent Donald Trump to play golf. On his Twitter page, the current U.S. President posted a video excerpt from a fundraising event held on March 28, where the host jokingly said that Biden had not won any of the golf championships organized by Trump. Biden responded to the joke by saying that he had offered to play golf with Trump back in 2016. Donald, my offer to play golf still stands. I'll let you take three strokes off your game if you carry your own bag," Biden wrote under the video on Twitter, the U.S. presidential election is scheduled for November 5, 2024. According to forecasts, the main Democratic candidate will be the current American leader Joe Biden, while Trump will run for the Republicans die in March, for the first time since August of last year, Biden was ahead of his rival in the rankings. And later it became known that Biden is ahead of Trump in six of the seven key swing states. In two of them, by a significant margin, the shift occurred after five months of Trump's mainly leading position and followed the president's State of the Nation address, which rallied Democrats and seemingly eased concerns about Biden's age. Bloomberg notes that it is still too early to say whether Biden's ratings improvement is a one-time increase or the beginning of long-term changes in the election race. Biden continues to lag behind Trump in four of the most crucial states. Biden's more optimistic figures come at a pivotal moment in the election campaign. Trump is currently experiencing a lack of funds for his campaign and is holding fewer rallies and events. Raleigh, Saginaw, Milwaukee, Phoenix, Vegas, Hotlanta, the Philly suburbs, Manchester, Dallas and Houston. Donald Trump, as far as we can tell, has just been trying to win a third championship at his own golf course. My question to you, sir, can voters trust a presidential candidate who has not won a single Trump International Golf Club trophy? At long last, sir, have you no chip shot? Well, look, I'd be happy to play. I told him this before when he came into the Oval, when he was being, before he got sworn in. I said, I'll give you three strokes if you carry your own bag. Transfer of ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine is no longer as risky, U.S. top general. The transfer of long-range ATA CMS missiles from the United States to Ukraine is no longer as risky as it was before, states the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States, General Charles Brown. In a conversation with journalists, Brown stated that the risk of escalation during the transfer of ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine is not as high as it might have initially seemed. In 2022, Russia publicly stated that providing such weapons to Ukraine would supposedly cross a red line. At the same time, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, stated that people in academic circles, analytical centers, or other forms of analysis refer to this as declaratory policy. This refers to statements made by high-ranking officials discussing what they will or will not do if certain actions occur. Top military officials speaking on the background have pointed to Russian military doctrine specifically as it relates to so-called existential risk, saying that giving Ukraine such weapons could compel a nuclear response from Russia or spur it to attack a NATO partner, the source writes. The US general stated that Russia's restrained response to a series of recent attacks by Ukrainian drones deep into Russian territory allowed the Pentagon to adjust its risk analysis for sending ATA CMS. Those are the things that we pay attention to. You know what is the likelihood of escalation based on different capabilities and different actions, he said. Last year, Ukrainian soldiers struck Russian airfields in Luhansk and Berdyansk. Information emerged in the media that the armed forces of Ukraine used American long-range ATA CMS missiles for the strike, which were provided in small quantities. Later, the U.S. confirmed this information, specifying that the missiles provided to our soldiers had a range of up to 165 kilometers. As early as October 2023, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba stated that the supply of ATA CMS to Ukraine would be ongoing. Recently, the American agency NBC News reported that the White House is working to provide Ukraine with new powerful long-range ballistic missiles. Russia attacks the aircraft, passengers and sovereign territory of NATO countries, jams GPS signals. Aircraft flying over the Baltic region are experiencing cases of GPS signal jamming. Russia is considered the culprit of these issues, reports Politico. 
The blackouts episodes, known as GPS jamming, have been occurring regularly since the start of the war in Ukraine in 2022, the source writes. Politico specifies that the interferences are concentrated in the Kaliningrad region of the Russian Federation. Russia is regularly attacking the aircraft, passengers and sovereign territory of NATO countries, said Dana Goward, president of the Resilient Navigation and Timing Foundation. She called these incidents real threats and reminded how, during the accidental jamming in 2019, a passenger plane narrowly missed crashing into a mountain. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency is studying this issue, but regulators currently state that GPS issues do not pose a danger to flights. Cases of interference reported by pilots have steadily increased since January 2022. This was stated by the European Aviation Safety Organization, which receives reports from pilots through its voluntary incident reporting system, EVAIR. During the first two months of 2024, EVAIR recorded high increases in GPS outages reports. In absolute figures, we received 985 GPS outages compared with 1,371 for the whole of 2023, Eurocontrol reported. They added that the number of incidents in the first two months of this year was almost seven times higher than in the first two months of 2023. Politico reports that last year, Israel began jamming and spoofing GPS signals at the border with Lebanon to protect its territory from Hezbollah missile attacks. Recently, Israeli disruptions have caused problems for civilian aviation in Lebanon. It was reported that planes bound for Beirut were forced to turn back due to signal shutdown. While disruptions may be inconvenient, they do not pose a significant risk to safety. An aircraft can safely navigate the globe without GPS, said Stuart Fox, Director of Flight Safety and Technical Operations at the International Air Transport Association.